I like the word frugal. I consider myself frugal. Other folks out there might use words like miser, tightwad, skinflint. Well, they're just mean-hearted. Now I'm going to ask you a very important question in just a minute or two. And I really need your help with it. But first, well, I have to make a confession. I really do need to confess. It's the right thing to do. But first, why do I even call myself frugal? Well, it's true, I don't like to spend money if it isn't necessary. But if and when I do spend money, I try to make it a good investment. I mean, that's the right thing to do, right? Make a smart purchase that will provide years of service. Here are just, just two quick examples. On my 18th birthday, I bought myself a pretty large set of Craftsman tools. It was, for me then, a really large investment. Now, I'm 61, but I've gotten a lot of use out of those tools. I still own every socket, every screwdriver, and every wrench I bought on that day. Second example, when it comes to pipe tobacco, I smoke primarily five different blends. I settled on those five because I really like them, and I think they're very good quality, but also because I could save money by buying three of them in bulk, and the other two I could buy in 8-ounce tins. Now, back to my confession. I tried. I really did. I tried using regular kitchen matches. Mostly it worked fine. This was my first inexpensive option. The problems with them was, well, I nearly scorched the rim on some of my pipes, especially the narrow chambered ones, and I find it challenging to light deep into the bowl. I mean, heck, I nearly melted the fingerprint off of a couple of my fingers. My Zippo. I really do like it. My dad had one. I love the sound of it. I love the smell of it. It works fine, mostly. It's inexpensive problem number two. The problem I have with it is I, I have trouble relighting when the tobacco is, what's left is deep into the bowl. I have to draw hard. It often results in overheated tobacco, especially with Virginia blends, which for me uh, gives me a problem if, if they get too hot. Inexpensive option number two, and look, there's a piece of a bicycle inner tube on this Zippo lighter to save fuel. Who else but somebody who's frugal would do that? So naturally, given my tendency to be a frugal person, I tried to find inexpensive option number three, but I failed. The more I looked, the more I was drawn to those seductive soft flame butane lighters. You know the ones, the ones that are designed for pipes with their angled flame. Now wouldn't that gently warm the tobacco up that's down deep in the bottom of your bowl? Uh, but anyway, of course, it would be something that would last a lifetime. And if I took care of it, you know, it could pass on to other generations even. And of course, it's a smart investment. That's the main thing. Next thing I knew, I found myself moved away from my comfortable, inexpensive territory and into that flashy investment territory. Then I did it. It just happened. I purchased this. This. I am Corona old boy lighter and really I'm I'm very happy with it I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet and I'm happy with it I mean who wouldn't be I guess she'll have to come out of the, I mean it it will have to come out of the plastic 
and that's fine. Yes, indeed. Really happy with it. But but of course, it's it's a tool. It's, it's nothing but a tool, and it'll pay for itself over time, and and certainly it'll last a lifetime. So it's it's just a tool. That's my confession. And now for that important question. Do you think, is there a chance my wife will be persuaded? <laughs>